Okie dokie, so my husband's weed eating for me because we're going to put um, weed barrier fabric down in, on the, on the um, east side of the barn because it gets full sun in the morning and then shade and we're going to put um, our, our potted plants there so it'll look nicer too but uh, we're going to do that real fast. And um, once he's done weed eating, there he is. Once my husband's done weed eating this spot for me, then we'll roll out some weed barrier fabric and put it down against the barn right there. And that's what we're gonna do, like our um, wicking. That's what we're gonna do our wicking um, pot plants at. And it's it's a hundred and like eight right now, and there our plants are dying because it's just too hot. So we got to get them moved. So we're gonna do that. Like I said in my other videos, if you haven't watched them, I'm letting my main garden beds rest and recuperate because the nutrients is just depleted, and I want to try to do it naturally without putting chemicals in and see how that goes. So that's why I'm letting that rest and we're just doing raised ones right now. <laughs> so um, and these wicking bags right here I'll show you. Right there. So we only have a few because we just really didn't get to it before the heat hit. It just got really it got really, really hot really fast this summer. We skipped spring. We went, like, had two days of spring and then summer. So, but we got, we're getting stuff done. And I'll get to it now. So we're clearing out this whole area. Get it, and we're going to put weed fabric down. Just to be able to have a nice spot and have these raised beds here and then when uh, the weather cools down again out here in California we have a second growing season so in the fall because our fall weather is like a nice growing season so we'll put more plants out there then all right so we're done weed eating and I got my weed fabric over here the sun setting so we have a good 30 minutes maybe to be able to lay some of it. I can't find my switchblade, razor blade, and I bought my oldest son, Skylar's son, one a while back ago, and it, I looked and it was in his cupboard. So, son, I'm borrowing your switchblade. I'll put it back in the package when I'm done. <laughs> this is my oldest son. He's away. So, I can't ask you for permission, but I know you'll let mommy use your stuff. So, all right, so this is what we got. Um, it's six feet long by 350. Got it on Amazon. So, should make short work. And I got the steaks. Um, galvanized so they don't rust. We're gonna stake it in the ground and I'll just probably leave it out here as long as it'll last. Help keep the weeds down.
right, so we're done. This next day, we're all done laying down the fabric. I was gonna do all of this, but we have river rock all underneath all this. And those stakes won't go in the ground. So in order, if I'm gonna do the rest of this, I have to get bricks to hold the ends of it down. But two rows is good for now. And so this is what it looks like. See, right now, this is what we needed. The shade it had all sun, and now it's um, it's about 3 o'clock now, and now it has shade. And uh, all the way down, it looks a lot nicer. It's a lot nicer here. So... This is what it looks like all the way down. Nice shade cloth, but see that river rock? We have to have stuff to hold it down so it doesn't blow away, but. Yep. So got that project done. Don't forget to subscribe. We'll talk to you later. Peace.